Jimmy Ishii in Memphis, Tennessee offers two starters. First, a soft crab spring roll with miso dressing, then salmon sashimi marinated in soy sauce, sake, and vinegar. Then from Minneapolis, Pierre Gardin presents sauteed Atlantic salmon with braised curry-flavored fennel and a blanched tomato cup holding steamed broccoli. Dessert is from New Orleans. Shane Gorringe sates all chocolate nuts with his Napoleon of chocolate mint candy, canals of chocolate mousse on a pool of reduced creme de menthe. One of the notable features at Jimmy Ishii's Seksusi of Japan in Memphis is a private dining room featuring an eight-course menu of Japanese specialties. The first course is salad, followed by, in Japanese, sukuri. We offer the two as an appetizer, crab soft spring roll and salmon sashimi. The spring roll is started by hydrating rice paper and water. This is rice spring roll skins. Soak in the water for a while. And this is a red miso dressing. Just wait till it gets soft. The ingredients that go into the roll include avocado slices, whole chives, cucumber spears, and snow crab leg. Avocado chives. Cucumber. This is a snow club. A spoon of the red miso paste goes into the bottom. The second course features a marinated and briefly blanched piece of salmon, the hot Japanese horseradish wasabi, and mixed greens. Ketsuya Masako will assist. Yeah. This, uh, this is a fresh salmon, put in a boiled water, and cook a little bit. The inside is like a medium rare. And we marinate it with a uh, yuzu sauce, which is a uh, uh, lemon, Japanese lemon. And marinate it with soy sauce and sake and vinaigrette. And we make sashimi, we cut sashimi for this.
egg custard and fried rice flours are garnish. Some of the marinade is mixed with the wasabi for the sauce. Dijon was home to Pierre Gardin. After cooking school, he worked in several French restaurants, then came to the States in 1983. He worked in Chicago at Tango and Escargot before joining the Sofitel Hotel. From that property in Minneapolis, here is sautéed salmon in red wine butter sauce. So we're going to start by the fennel. Need to remove the core. Fennel and onion are served as a side dish. Slap it thin. Onion. So in the pan we take a bit of butter. The onion, a bit of garlic, a bit of curry powder. I'm going to cook it until uh, tender. Okay, for the sauce, reduce, I'm going to put this aside and uh, I'm reduce some uh, red wine with some uh, shallots. And reduce it until uh, you have a syrupy mixture, almost like a thick. Almost. Okay. While the, while the wine is reducing, start the salmon. So it's sweet up a frying pan with some oil. Season the salmon on both on the side.
So you put the salmon skin down, skin down first. And leave it like this until the skin is uh, crispy. Okay. Yeah, for the for the vegetable, take some uh, broccoli and just uh, steam it. real quick just to mark it a bit and then you put it in an oven about 375 just take a tomato and we scoop it out The tomato cup will hold the broccoli and is also briefly steamed. Tomato will put in a steamer for just a minute. The wine reduction is getting close. Whole butter will be added to finish. To season a bit the broccoli, I'll put it in a uh, whole butter and uh, salt and pepper. with butter. Hold on there. And to season it, uh, to place it, just put it inside the tomato cup. Okay. We're going to finish the sauce. Now the red, red wine is reduced. Uh, so you want to add the butter. The butter is added uh, a little bit at a time on, on low heat. The butter is swirled into the wine a piece at a time.
Shane Garange's busy Zoe's Specialty Bakery is on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. A native of England, he's cooked all over the world and in New Orleans at Windsor Court Hotel. His own place now allows him full freedom. He developed this recipe for great chefs and calls it Chocolate Mint Napoleon. Okay, this is Chocolate Mint Napoleon. Um, we have on the stove right now, we have sugar and water come into a boil. It's got to come to right below softball, which is about 112 degrees centigrade. around about there. Powder sugar. Mint extract. Bring that together and it should, it's going to turn into hard pieces of candy. Careful not to put your face over this pan because the fumes from the mint is going to get right in your eyes. And when that all comes together, onto a, to cool. It's, some bits are going to be stick together, it's going to be large chunks, but we can just chop those up later. When the sugar cools down the, and the mint, we're going to make little chunks of it. Pieces like that, irregular. Melted chocolate goes onto parchment paper. Then on one half of the chocolate, we're going to sprinkle the mint candy. And then we're going to fold over and just press. We're going to place a sheet pan and allow that to set. The chocolate mousse used in presentation is made with seven ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, four ounces of softened butter, four egg yolks, half a cup of chocolate liqueur, a half a pint of heavy cream whipped, and three ounces of sugar. Okay, to layer up the Napoleon, the prepared sheets, we peel off and then you just break pieces and you want to be able to where it's like this, this is good because you see the mint inside, it's not just straight chocolate. Just break off irregular pieces. I'm going to take a chocolate mousse. And then just take the pieces, start setting them. Then we're going to leave that to set up for a little bit and get prep the plate. So we take a plate, we take a plate. This is a creme de menthe reduction.
Show it's all together. 